name is Kays and welcome to another Right Brain Tutorial. So the name of this channel is Right Brain Tutorials for a reason because I'm a right brain kind of guy and every time I'm watching tutorials that involve any sort of code or vex or anything of that sort, my eyes glaze over. I'm just not really smart enough to kind of figure out what's going on and as an artist I just like to work more intuitively. So uh, throughout all my tutorials I've always tried to stay away from anything that even remotely resembles having to type code. Having said that, there is one expression in Houdini that I think everybody should know, and that is $F. Let me show you what it does and how powerful it is. So we have a cube right here, and uh, or a box, I guess. And let's say that we wanted to rotate on the y-axis, um, you know, like it's on a turntable or something. So we go under the rotate, and under y, we just type $F. And the moment we do that, uh, if I hit play, now our cube is rotating and it's doing so magically without me having to put in any keyframes whatsoever. So what is happening? What is $F? $F simply means that whatever the frame number that Houdini is on at that time, that's the value, okay? So uh, right now we're on frame number 90. So uh, if I click on this thing, you can see like it's rotated 90 degrees, exactly. And, uh, and it just keeps going. So, you know, like frame 120, 120 20 degrees. Um, it's really, really cool and really easy. Um, let's uh, let's have it spin like on the y, on the x-axis as well. So uh, now we make it look like it's kind of like there's no gravity. It's in space. So if I hit play, it's gonna do this kind of motion. So this is really cool and really simple. And as I said, I didn't have to do any keyframes whatsoever. And one of the other cool things that makes this technique particularly powerful is because there are no keyframes, it's completely independent of the length of our timeline, right? So uh, right now we have like 120 frames for our timeline length, but let's change that to uh, 500 frames. Click apply and I hit play and it keeps going. Because as long as there are frame numbers, it's kind of like sending whatever uh, that value is to uh, to the rotation and you know it just keeps going and going and going. What else can we do? Let's say that we want to uh, have the cube move up as well as just rotate. So uh, let's uh, let's use $F on the Y translation. Okay I'm gonna type in $F right here and now if I play our cube disappeared. What happened? Well what happened is that even though uh, in terms of Houdini one frame is equals one degree on the rotation. One degree is a very, very low amount. Uh, it also equals one meter on the translate distance in Y. And one meter is actually like a pretty large distance. So if I zoom out all the way here, uh, you can kind of see just how quickly this, this cube is moving up in the air, right? Like, I mean, by frame uh, um, 30 or so, or 15, we're like completely out even at this distance. So how can we change that in a way that makes this dollar F a little bit more useful for um, you know for, for some of these instances where like the frame value is just too large of a number? Well, it's really really simple and easy with just some basic math. So all we're gonna do is just kind of uh, go in here and we're just gonna multiply by a decimal. So let's say that we wanted to move uh, a tenth of the speed that it was going before. So we just type uh, times uh, 0.1, and now if I play cube is moving a lot slower, about like one-tenth slower than it was going before. Uh, if that's still too fast, let's type uh, multiply by 0 0.01. So now it's uh, it's moving really slow. So now it really, really feels like it's, um, it's floating into space. Uh, and we can do the opposite as well. So let's say that we want it to rotate faster. We want it to rotate like 10 times faster than it's rotating now. So all we have to do is just kind of go into the rotation, like multiply, and instead of like 0 0.1 or 0 0.01, we multiply by 10. So uh, let's do that here, and let's multiply by 10 here. And now if I hit play, you'll see our cube is like spinning that much faster. So um, $F is this expression that comes in really, really handy for so many different things. And uh, you can use it for lights, you can use it for uh, uh, noises, you can use it for just about anything that you can think of. And it's really, really cool, and it's really, really easy. And I hope you guys will find it as useful as I have found it. So thank you for watching and see you next time.